What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Thank you to all of you who entered our giveaway. We got thousands of entries. It was crazy. Didn't expect it to blow up that much, but she did. So we're amped. We're answering some of those questions you guys left us. So the rules for this are the rapid fire. We're going 15 to 30 seconds, quick as we can. We're gonna get as many as we can. There are hundreds of questions. We're gonna pick the best ones that we answered, put them in this video. Also, if you guys ask us a question that we can really expand on or that we think we can go into depth more, we'll actually make a full video on that. Try not to get offended if we don't answer. We're gonna do as much as we can. And Thank you guys for answering. So number one is, is it better to consume protein supplements before or after a workout? All right, 15 seconds. So it's better to have it after. You can get a little bit better absorption. There is a time gate, but people overhype it. Before is not the best. It's not the best sort of quick energy. It doesn't digest as fast. So that's my answer before. Stick to your simple carbs after protein. Next, your favorite pre-workout and our measurements. Ooh. Ooh, all right. My favorite pre-workout, I've had it a few times, but it's really hit me. The Eno Explode. Um, I've had that from Scott and a few other of my buddies. And How big our, arms. our measurements, let's get into it. I'll show you. All right, we're gonna measure. Let's do this up. Wait, can't do this, no pump. Get out of here, bro. All right, our biceps are fired up, let's do it. But our triceps have gotta go, baby. The Baski game. <laughs> you want yep. those 17s? Uh, 22. Uh. Fruit cake. 15.2, <laughs> boys. Oh, I have small arms. Oh, that's 18. Would you ever sponsor young power lifters? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, if it's someone we believe in, we think it's someone that we can help grow and can help us grow, then for sure. It doesn't really matter if they're young or not. If we think they have potential, then for sure. How long do you recommend bulking? I just started working out nine months ago. Uh, I really recommend you bulk till you're done. Um, basically until you reach, say around 16% body fat, I'd probably say it's time to call it quits. Stop at the right time. Best advice I can give you. What is your motivation day in and day out. This is an interesting question. I'm gonna try not to expand too much on this. We might make a video. Uh, motivation day in and day out is just to, you know, always, I'm always trying to better myself no matter what it is. And it's just the fact that I always wanna be growing from any aspects. And that's just basically my motivation, just always growing, learning, expanding. And that just motivates me to become a better version of myself. What are you looking forward to this year? Looking forward to the summer. Uh, we're going to kill it. We're going to put pure focus on Colossus and kind of remove focus from other things. And we're going to see where we can take it. Uh, all right, guys. Next one, we got key foods to avoid while trying to gain muscle. Uh, honestly, one thing I'd recommend is I'd probably stay away from trans fat. But then again, we're also firm believers of flexible dieting, but doing it right. We don't really think there are foods that you should stay away from, but you should also track your calories, track your macros, make smart decisions, and don't just fuel your body with junk. Next question, I work long hours at a hospital. Sometimes I'm in, unable to eat for um, almost the entire day. Should I be eating more at the end of the day or get back into a normal pattern? This is from Northampton, Massachusetts, USA. All right, this is gonna be real hard to bang out quick, but if you have a really awkward lifestyle, you wanna try and find that time slot where you can eat, where you're not gonna overdo it, and where you can find a flexible time. If your day is always changing, find that consistency. I'd recommend someone, I normally wouldn't recommend this, but some of this situation could definitely do well with intermittent fasting. How do I achieve strength while adding the least amount of size? This is an interesting one. Um, honestly, I'd probably recommend eating. Uh, I think your nutrition is gonna be very important, eating around your maintenance, and just having on a good strength training program, something that's gonna help you progress in the gym for strength while you're not eating too much food. From Cranbourne, Australia, next question is, when are you guys coming to Australia? Uh, we definitely like to hop out there sometime, mate. <laughs> Puns intended. <laughs> one day, one day. Um, out of all the workouts you do, what exercise do you enjoy doing the most? One of my favorites is the deadlifts because you just feel crazy strong. It's like raw strength. You're just lifting the world up and picking it up and throwing it down. Oh, block it! Block it! Block it! Yeah! Yeah! All right, next question. What do you get more excited about? Cutting and seeing all the new gains you made or bulking up and seeing gains being made? All right, this is a good one. Before, I would have said bulking 100%, but now I'm going to go with cutting. Definitely like seeing shreds. I think you're more disciplined. Bulking, you can kind of fall off that uh, path you're walking. So that's going to be my answer. How can I increase my bench press? There are a lot of ways. We're actually going to link a video that we made down in the description below. It's going to be just how to increase your bench press. We're going to give a lot of awesome exercises. Do you think you need complicated ab workouts or heavy compounds and heavy pull-ups enough? I think heavy pull-ups and compounds are enough to like hit your abs adequately, 
but I think if you're really looking to develop a really good corn six pack, you kind of got to work them in less, more conventional ways rather than like your Russian twists, your leg ups, your, you just want to kind of hit them all from different perspectives and just your compounds where they're going to be engaged. So I think it's important to isolate them as well. Yes. All right. When did you start lifting? Um, I'd say I officially started lifting around five years ago, but three, three and a half years ago, I was very serious about it and I decided to make fitness and working out my life. Can you show more leg workouts? All right, so a lot of people actually want to know what I do for legs and why my squat is so ridiculous. And yeah, well, we're definitely happy to show you guys. We really value that we kill legs, so that's sick. We, we like to know what you guys want to see. All right, how often do you do these giveaways? I love it, from Newmarket, Ontario. Uh, so we've actually decided, Josh and myself, we're gonna to try to do them at least once a month. At least, okay? We want to give back! If you don't see it, then call us out on it at least <laughs> once, maybe twice. We're going to stay accountable. <laughs> How drastically do you change up your workout routine? All right, so this is a real interesting one. I'm very interesting where I don't change much structurally, but I change everything in between. So like if it's a building, I keep that frame, but I kind of rebuild it every time with that same structure. Heavy compounds first, I work my way into hypertrophy, do a bit of cardio, abs pretty much three times a week. I've stuck with that. And I find that does me the best. So I've already answered this, so I'm gonna pass this question on to Josh. What is your favorite compound exercise from Windsor, Ontario? All right, I'm gonna definitely go with um, the barbell calf raise. <laughs> <laughs> on a side note, they're actually sick. We'll put we'll put that in the description. But, Check it out. Um, I'd say squat, it's definitely, we were talking about this, like anyone can go down with any amount of weight pretty much. Yeah. It's just a matter of if you can get back up. And I, I just find that challenge very appealing to me. Like I kind of like testing myself and the willpower it takes to actually stand back up. It's like, am I going to get back up or am I going to be crushed? It's a good analogy to life. <laughs> All right. This is a cool one. Oh, let's both answer this. It's kind of fun. If you could choose one superpower, which would it be? Honestly, I'd probably want to be able to teleport everywhere because you'd never have any problems if you're late for something. You'd be oh, like, All right, I'm right here. Boom, I was going to say boom, boom. fly, but you just showed me up hard, bro. <laughs> Crap. Um, Yo, I'm just going with super strength. I'm going to be like Hulk. I'm just going to be walking around. Boom. Fair Get enough. paid a lot to move stuff. I guess he beats me, but if he tries to attack me, I'd be gone. I'd be out the door. I'd be nah, somewhere else. You know what? I'm going to go with laser <laughs> eyes. You're done. Laser eyes? Yeah. What do you guys? Leave no, a comment down. You know what? I'm about to kill it. My uh, superpower is going to be to go over 9,000 real quick. It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Oh, Goku flex, baby! Alright, would you collab with Bro Science Life and Bradley Martin? <laughs> oh no my people. god, okay, yeah, no question about it, that'd be <laughs> awesome. They're sick, I uh, got a lot of, they're both really cool, they're both very different, and we respect them a lot. For sure. All right, so from Malaysia, wow. That's sick. <laughs> We've got, what's your opinion on cheat meals or cheat days while cutting? Uh, I don't really think you need cheat meals or cheat days. We're big believers on flexible dieting. We'll have some links for that as well. How did you get started on YouTube? Uh, I guess we kind of just wanted a medium to showcase like our artistic ability, our lifting ability, and our ability to teach. Yeah. Ooh, coming in from Croatia. Good body weight to height ratio. Honestly, in my opinion, you know, everyone comes in different sizes and shapes. Really, I don't believe there is one specific good body weight to um, height ratio and yeah. All right. Hey, what are some good exercises, stretches to do before a leg or deadlift session to increase mobility, etc.? Thank you. So one of the things I like to do is I, I'm a firm believer of doing dynamic stretches before my leg workouts. I like to do a bunch of leg swings. I do this thing called a scorpion, um, basically where I'm putting my leg over my back, going it's back and forth doing like a nice little back stretch and uh, a lot of dynamic stuff rather than static stretching. All right, so this question is from Croatia. We've got a lot of Croatia questions, which is pretty cool. Skinny, uh, <laughs> that's a lot to me because Croatia is unique um, compared to a lot of It's the, true, dude. Yeah, so skinny fat situation, bulk or cut? So we're gonna spend a bit more time on this one because why not? So skinny fat, now it really depends what you mean by skinny fat, but I'd say if you're skinny fat and you're 13 or 14 percent and you've never worked out then just start by increasing your gym volume keeping your calories where they are increase them a little do them li not so much a bulk more of like a diet like to increase yeah. your macros and then just lift and i think you'll naturally see a good balancing there 
But if you're kind of at this weird point where you've been lifting, you bulk and cutting and you're skinny fat, I would say cut down first, get to the optimal range to get anabolic and gain some muscle and then work out of that until you get about that 15, 16% and start chopping her down again, rinse and repeat. I train my legs every other week, just like any other muscle, but my strength doesn't seem to grow. Any reasons why? All right, real quick, can only take a guess. Likely you're not working hard enough as much as I hate to say it, there's a good chance. Pretty much if you're pinning yourself, you're taking yourself failure, your strength will increase. A lot of people think they are, but they actually got a lot more in the tank. First foremost, second, if it's not increasing, maybe you're going too high reps, not enough weight, like I said. Try doing some strength programming, vary your repetitions, and then you will definitely see some strength increase. If not, eat some more food. What's both your height and weight? You go ahead. Uh, my height is five foot nine. I'm currently 175 pounds. I am six foot two, and I am about 211. So I've gained about four pounds in the last month and a half. Bulk season, baby. For how long do you recommend I should bulk and define? <laughs> bulk and death. Should I bulk? Maybe he means cut? I think he means cut. Bulk and cut? Yeah. Like, like how long should I bulk? Bulk and then how long should, should I, I cut? cut? Yeah. Bulk. bulk. Cut. It's all like dependent. So you should pretty much cut until you've had enough to where you find you're suffering where you're not getting yeah. pumps, unless you're competing. Because when you get low, especially us with comp, it's very hard to get a pump. You lose that mind muscle connection, you lose the drive. So Life that's cutting. sometimes. You should pretty much cut until you get to that stage or when you feel you need more food and you yeah. can't do it anymore. Uh, as far as bulking, well, to be safe, I'd say cut, stop around 9% unless you're looking to compete. Like there's no need to really get less. And the true 9%, not a fake 9%. Yeah. Like 9% is pretty low. A lot of people will be like, yo, I'm 6% body fat, bro. Yeah. No way. You know, like 12 or 15. No, nine is pretty dang lean, yeah. right? Like that's, that's serious. But, um, so yeah. And then for bulking, I'd pretty much say it's that 15, 16% stop there. All right. So this question is from Texas. What are some good bulky meals for breakfast besides the normal eggs and oatmeal? All right, so my first major bulk, it was in waves. It wasn't as nasty as it sounds, but I was about 160, and I pretty much ended close to 240 just after two years, so I know my bulking foods. <laughs> I was a big boy. Uh, for me, every morning, a protein oatmeal, I love protein pancakes. I love, if you want to get a little bit more nasty, a Big bad omelet, cheese, chicken, you're gonna get some serious cows in there. Oh, for, all right, from Quebec City, they tend to have beef with us non Quebecers, and he wants to start a fight and says, Bro, do you even lift? Nope, I don't. Why you guys watching us? Just leave. All right, so this is from the United Kingdom. Do you give one to one advice on nutrition? All right, so you guys probably see a Klaus coaching ad. We haven't pushed it too much. We're gonna start doing it because we have such, we finally got our structural foundation with all our materials and our check-ins and bookings and everything. So so yeah, we do online coaching where we give nutritional support, um, daily support, overall support. So everything from supplementation, sleep, like we're macro monitoring guidance, you. Yeah. We make your programs, pure macro guidance with uh, multiple weekly check-ins. We try to do monthly Skype. We do a lot of good stuff there. Check us out on our website if you're interested on that, colossfitness.com down below. All right, there's way too many questions. I'm so sorry to whoever's left, but we're gonna pick three at random. All right, do you guys ever see yourself being gym owners? Oh, this is a cool one from Colorado. You know, I could see myself uh, owning some type of small gym. I'm not sure about commercial, maybe one day, but since the word Colossus is meaning huge, maybe it'll have to be a huge gym, but definitely have a nice little studio. Do you ever give a shout out? Way. Do you ever give a shout out to a channel? In capitals. In right. capitals. So, so I'm assuming you have a channel. Where we stand is we don't like saying no to anyone when we were there, but you need to understand that you shouldn't really just beg for something from someone you don't know. Yeah. If you're, you're commenting a lot and we watch you and you make great con like content and we have that relationship. Yeah, totally. We'll we'll give you our support, but it's as long as we support you guys, like you guys support us, like we have that yeah. kind of relationship. We don't just go, you know, someone goes, hey bro, shout me out. It's shout like, me out and subscribe. Like, We're in this YouTube game together. Yeah, like for what, basically? So, shout out to Zach Wade. Is that the guy that does it? Yeah. All right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what, no, I'll keep this. Like that, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like why you come in trying to advertise yourself on every video. A lot of you guys in no the YouTube reason. Fitness Collective can relate. Uh, does working abs specifically target burning tummy fat? This is our last one. All right, so for those of you who don't know, abs are made in the kitchen. I'd honestly say focus on your nutrition, focus on your 
cardio, but you know, doing the actual ab specific exercises is going to more shape it rather than develop the abs. You killed it. Thank you guys so much for all these questions. This was a ton of fun. If you liked it, let us know down below so we can do some more of this. Uh, it was really cool getting to answer all your different questions, especially when there were so many. It's really cool. Our last Q&A, we only probably had about 30 questions. Yeah. It's pretty awesome to have 10 times that. So. Yeah, there's a couple hundred here. So You guys are the best. Colossus Army is the best. Thanks for checking in. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to go into depth about some of the questions that weren't answered. Uh, we'll see you guys there. Peace.